This is a 317 updated looting and money making guide. If you watched my last looting guide, you might be looting bunkers wondering where the heck is all the had night I was promised. And the answer is CIG nerfed it. But there is good news, you can still find tons of gems in caves. And all you're going to need for this one is a medium or heavy set of armor as well as a medium or heavy backpack. Caves are hard to navigate at first, but if you follow this guide, you'll be making 150 to 250,000 AUEC per cave. Make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content and let's get started. First things first, where do I find caves? Even without a mission, there are two caves you can visit that are easy to traverse and have plenty of loot. HDMS Doms on Aberdeen as well as Kudre or Mine Closed on Daymar. The reason why I picked these two is because they're low gravity and because they have a quantum jump marker that's easy to get to. So what are we looking for? You're looking for these small one by one brown boxes that can be found spawning near and around piles of boxes and loot. There's also medical boxes, armor boxes with rare loot, as well as weapon boxes that you should be looking for snipers, rail guns, missile launchers, or whatever catches your eye. How do I not get lost? Personally, I like to do cave missions. So you're going to want to have the mission, which is the entrenched bounty mission, right? And then also you want to take Call to Arms. Grabbing Call to Arms will get you an extra 500 to 1500 AUEC per kill. Keep in mind to unlock cave FPS missions, you will have to grind your security rep to level 3, aka the mission rep that you get from doing bunkers in mercenary and bounties in the contract manager. But if you grind up at, let's say, Hurston, you can find missions called Entrench Bounties, Clear Criminal Nest, or Evict Illegal Occupants. They should all say the mission is located at a cave in the description. I do these ones because the missions with enemies are guaranteed loot, unlike investigation missions. Bonus, when you take down enemies in the cave, there's going to be gems on their chest and legs for you to loot. To get these, all you have to do is click right click and then open on their gear. When I'm clearing caves, I like to move from right to left along the wall. That way I don't get lost and I make sure not to miss any boxes. Keep in mind that some of these caves, like this one for example, this is Kudre or Mine Closed. Well, you have to go through this passageway to get to the loot, but it looks like nothingness abyss, which is pretty off-putting. But if you just walk through, you're fine. It's just a texture glitch. When you get to obstacles like these, the yellow lines mean these rocks are vaultable by pressing spacebar. I like to look up, have my weapon away, and spam the spacebar button. This usually works the best for me. You will 100% start to memorize these caves after a few runs. So where do I sell these gems? Before we go any farther, please, for the love of God, do not sell your gems from your backpack. It will bug your backpack and you will be sad. Rather, remove the gems from your backpack, either put them in your ship and sell from there, or put them at the location you want to sell them. We were in Aberdeen, so we swung by HDMS Anderson. You're looking for any admin terminal in the game. Once you get there, you're looking for this building. It will look the same at every outpost. You'll head to the terminal, click sell, and then just select the location of the gems. These are the results of the cave mission we did. Coming in first at the Dolvine, we've got 84K, 8450. All right, 8450, guys, 8450. For the hat of night, it is 99k. So it came out to 183,000 plus the 30k for the mission. So we walked out of that cave, one mission, okay? One mission, we walked out of that cave with 213,000. Pretty good. And that's it, short and sweet. This is one of the coolest, easiest, and most fun ways to make money in the game looting at the moment. And you should do it before CIG patches it because they 100% will. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for more helpful Star Citizen content or catch me live on Twitch. I do stream almost every day. This is Captain Burks signing off.